What's up guys, Mr. Dan here, quick video. Wanted to show off some uh, cars that I hauled in my last Hot Wheels Club meeting, which was now two weeks ago. I like to do like a wrap up video after every meeting. Haven't really done that in a while, but don't have any loose cars this time. My loose car guy hasn't been there, but I got some, some nice old stuff. Gonna show that. Gonna uh, just show, gonna show off my Kinex monster truck track or it's under construction, but I'm going to show you what I got so far. And uh, I've been talking about these Majorette uh, monster trucks. So I've got a couple. I got one more of those. We'll show those off. But uh, let's take a look at the loose cars first. Okay, I'm going to grab this guy for comparison. And I'll show this again. Some of you may have seen my in the car video uh, when I went to pick Harry up right after I scored this at Walmart. I was Pretty excited about it. M2 Chase, Star Chief, 750. Never hurts to take another look at that. But here are some of the uh, cars I picked up at my last meeting. Got some nice treasure hunts. Okay, we got Way Too Fast, which is a possible. It's a heavy car. Uh, looks great. This is uh, from the 12 Treasure Hunt series. I'm not sure if it's, these are the same year as the next one. It's 97, what do we got here? 97, same year. So, you know, this is back when they had a series announced right on the card. So there's nine. Here we got the limited edition Solar CX-4. This is gonna be great. I might have to open that one and Put it in my 4th of July red, white, and blue parade of cars. I love those wheels. But anyway, my point about the way too fast is it's nice and heavy. If we have a treasure hunt race in the future, which I believe we do once a year, that might be a candidate to crack open and race. As much as, you know, there's always a dilemma whether you crack those open or not. And then we have the Road Rocket, number 8. Looks awesome. It's kind of a clear the canopy, uh, the whole top is clear. Interesting, okay. Hot Wheels right there, that is awesome. Don't think I have another one of those. No rocket, okay. And highway hauler, two, got a lot of these. This one's cool, it's got, it's rare you see, there's a picture of a car on a truck. Looking at that, I'm not sure what that is with that gigantic blown engine, Hot Wheels logo. Maybe somebody can tell me. It looks like I don't know what that is in the back. Scorpion tail. It's just cool. And next we have the Biohazard series Rescue Ranger. I like the I like Biohazard things, and I may incorporate it, that into a. Uh, Halloween video. I don't know. There's not, nothing really scary about this one, but. And here we have uh, Work Cruisers, Toe Jam, Six Wheels. That's pretty awesome. Who's that? Lightning Lead Speed Shop. Lightning Leads? Lightning, Lightning Leos. Lightning Leos Speed Shop. That's pretty cool. This is pretty cool. This is interesting. Pinheads, five out of five. The 1965 Ford. Looks like the front hood opens. Interesting artwork there. Makina de Amor. I know what the de Amor means. Mm, oh, I can't read that. Jerry Sanchez Hot Wheels. I even have my glasses on, which. Usually uh, I have a better chance of reading things close up. Should have got the magnifying glass out for that, but that's pretty cool. This is a 40, 40 Ford truck. Oh, get a little windy. What sold me on this one was pizza on wheels. We'll see if we, we'll have to send that through the uh, pizza. Oh, now I can't remember the place at. Pizza Go. Go Pizza. It's got the word Go in it. You know that place at with the loop and the pizza. I have a number of vehicles that say pizza on them, so we'll have to, that'll be a video. Fast delivery, that's pretty cool. 
And in the Biohazard series, might be from the same year as the other one. This is three or four recycling truck caution biohazard waste fluorescent yellow. Pretty cool. I'm not sure if that moves or not. Okay, let's find out. Yeah, yeah. Gotta free one of the pieces. Free that piece. It's not very heavy yet. Uh, either. Yes, it does move. I was going to say maybe I can save this for next year's truck race, which we just had last meeting, but this isn't very heavy at all. So, definitely. Ooh, pretty, oh, okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Well, huh. This is this is metal here. That piece. Well, now we have possibly a future candidate for a customizable vehicle. Put some heavy weights in there. Huh. It's a possibility. That is definitely a possibility. Get my got to get my cars out this week for the Marty France uh, customers in the sprint race. Okay, that's enough for the older cars. And just another quick. This is the reptile. Uh, they have on the back of the. You know, it's so hard to read, but they do have the Ford and the GM uh, license. You see there it does say GM so I said oh it looks kind of like a Hummer body no not really not really oh this is the other one like that I was hoping to get there's a sixth one in the series which is different and it's got a picture of a coyote silhouetted against the moon on it you can go to the website and see the major website um, but this is called wild bear and it's got the word footprint on there I'm not really sure why that would be but let's take a look at my monster truck track in progress. I've got one lane done. Obviously most of the time is building the scaffolding. The starting mechanism I got this Avenger here, or grinder rather, which I got at a thrift shop a couple months ago, holding this down. And, uh, it's a little clumsy because you have to hold it down and then let go for the start, but uh, as far as the major majorette trucks go, there you see both of these have the Chevy logo in the back, very similar, exact same body types. Green wheels, red wheels. This one sold me because it's got a picture of a dragon. I'm guessing I'm just gonna call that one dragon. Got some paint missing already. Hope that's not a sign of things to come. So we'll get them out of the way, and then we got my muscle machines, Wolfman. We'll put him up against why not? Reptile, of course, these have the shocks, so one of the things I'd like to test out is how the different vehicles do on this track. Typically what I do is this is like an elimination. We'll see who can get through the, the narrow gap. This is all, all of this size I have. I could get more. You can go right from the Connect website, but for right now, for the next foreseeable future, that's all I have of that. So then we gotta go to the skinny track. Typically what I have is some kind of jump in the middle, and uh, so we'll be able to test out those shocks. And then you have these curved pieces, and they have, there's another elimination where um, only one can cross the finish line. And Harry and I have done things like give every truck an inside lane spot and then an outside lane spot and we have a point system. We've had fun with this in the past. But let's let's uh, give it a whirl here, see what happens. Let's see if I can take grinder off here and here we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. And the, the, the thing is, you want to engineer it so it's, they don't do that very often, but it's going to happen. So, Muscle Machine, Wolfman, just knocked a Reptile right off the track. And uh, this is pretty cool. If you can have uh, four, uh, four at a time, or you can actually put them right in the middle and just have a head-to-head -head race. And here's how the starting gate. The start, I, everything else I take apart to use the connects for other things. This part of the starting gate, I leave constructed. It's pretty complicated, so I don't take that apart. But I finally hit upon the idea of cutting these out. All right, just take an X-Acto knife and cut these out, because these little guys here, it's hard to have them come up through the little squares, so that was my kind of breakthrough this year. But, uh, there you have it, guys. So hopefully Harry and I will get something together. We'll have a nice race. See if we can get it on video for you guys. All right, take it easy.